Hello students, in this video we are looking at advanced variance analysis, okay? Advanced variance analysis, so we will be discussing number one, planning and operational variances. Number two, further analysis on material usage variance, okay? Then number three, further analysis on sales volume variance. Number four, market share and size variance. Then lastly, we have I do time variance. I do time, okay? I do time variance. So these are the advanced variance analysis we are going to look at. So let us start with the planning and operational variance, okay? So planning and operational variance, okay? Now, when we say planning and operational variance, when you compare the uh, original budgets, so when you talk of planning now is when you compare the original original budgets original budgets or standards you compare with the revised budgets revised revised budgets okay when you compare with the revised budgets that is you are comparing the original budget with the revival. So the difference between the original budget and the revised budget is called the planning variance. Okay, planning variance, and this is called the ex ante. Okay, ex ante. Okay, ex ante means before. Are you with me now? That is planning variance. But when you now compare the revised budget with the actual performance. With the actual performance okay actual result that's what we call the operational variance operational that is what we call the expose so we call it the expose okay so the planning variance can be analyzed that is when you compare the original budgets with the revised budgets okay that is planning variance then the revised budgets is compared with the actual budget that is what we call the operational variance so what we know before was that we always compare the original budgets with the actual budgets okay that was during the simple variance analysis but now we want to create another revised budget all right another revised budget so when you look at the original formats look at the original format where you have direct material variance now i have included planning variance before it was direct material variance now it is now direct material planning variance take note of that and that's what we call the x and t okay so it will now be if it is planning variance you are comparing take note the original with the revised so we have the originals standard price of material then you compare with the revised standard price okay original standard price of material with the revised standard price are you with me revised standard price so when you subtract to give you variance in price is that taken then at a revised standard quantity okay at revised standard quantity so then you take note of that okay then this one will give you variance in value all right variance in value so that is direct material price planning variance okay all right now now look at the second one direct material price operational variance and that is called the expose okay the expose so when you have when you compare the revised look at we are comparing the revised with the actual price so we have revised standard price all right you compare with the actual price okay actual price that is variance in price all right then at actual actual quantity actual quantity all right then 
at means multiply then this will give you variance in value all right so this is a basic format so make sure you study these formats it's very very important so you can analyze the price planning and into planning and operational variance okay into planning and operational variance all right so in the next video we look at uh the direct material usage variance direct material usage variance okay we analyze it into planning and operational variance like we did if you like this video please share with your friends thank you